at this time? Yes. Um, me is doing lemons and oranges. However, I already have two different types of lemon tree. So I'm only going to do oranges and I have two different types. I have, um, two heirloom navel oranges and one, um, Kings river navel orange. Mm -hmm. I picked two different types so I can see which one does best. And mm -hmm. when I finally am able to plant them in the ground, so mm -hmm that we'll see what type of orange we get as a result. Yeah, I can't wait. Can't wait I to be wait, you wait, I how long, Look, I wonder how long that's gonna take. Oh, well, oh, also one other thing that uh, you all will need is some aloe vera, a uh, stem from an aloe vera plant because we're going to use the gel from that stem or from that leaf to help stimulate root, root growth. Margaret, do you want to share anything else about that, about why we no, need that? Um, and actually, uh, both Mia and I, we both have aloe vera plants. And mm -hmm. I just, as you can see, the roots are still there. I just yeah. picked a little bit <laughs> out of one of the um, aloe vera pots that I have growing. Okay. That instead of cutting off um, a big, long leaf. So we only okay. need a little bit. So I'm going to use that. Um, and also let them know that we can you can use cinnamon um you can also buy over the counter root stimulators but you know we we like to save money so if there's something that we have around the house uh, exactly we prefer to use <laughs> exactly and mia has nice pretty pots i no, just re reused a whole <laughs> lot but <laughs> yeah i just used some planter pots that uh -huh. uh, I bought something else in. I can't remember what was planted in these. And then I'm using soil and compost mm -hmm. to see how it does in that environment. Hopefully it does really well. Yeah, and even regular potting soil. So we will see uh, the difference that it makes. And then I'm going to cover mine with um, just some plastic reusable containers mm -hmm. that I, this one came, I think apple juice was in this one and I think soda was in this. Oh, so okay. okay. At the end to put on top. Mm -hmm. So it can keep all the moisture in, which will uh -huh. help the plant grow. Okay. And I'm doing something similar. However, I'm using Ziploc freezer bags. And I chose the freezer bags because they're larger. So I will be able to open them up and then put them around the pots and then zip it so that it will be sealed. So we will see the, the goal, the purpose of that is for it to uh, create condensation and sweat and that will help propagate the seeds, help them grow uh, faster. Okay, Mia, you ready to get started? I'm ready. Oh, also before that, I wanted to show them some other oh, yeah. projects just so that they know that it actually works. Uh, this is actually a project where I just I had some small potatoes that were old. We didn't get a chance to eat them. I know there are a lot of mothers out there who you buy items and for some reason you don't get to cook them in time. So these potatoes were old and so rather than throwing them out, I just simply put them on top of some soil and I've had some really good luck with them. If you look at them, you can still see the potato on top. Uh, and these are growing very rapidly. And I have several of these throughout the house because I had several miniature potatoes. Uh, so I'm going to give Margaret one of those plants when she visits again. Um, and the other thing that I want to show you is sweet potatoes. I've actually had some wonderful luck with sweet potato plants. I've actually given away several of these to my mom, mother-in-law, and other people uh, because they, I do these do so well. You just get a sweet potato uh, in a glass jar and you put it in water and it'll usually start growing in a month or so. Uh, one other thing that we want you all to consider is the, the how old your orange or potato or whatever it is that you're planting, how old it is. It does need to be ripe in order for it to grow fast. Um, if it's not ripe, it will take longer to grow. 
All right, so I will turn it back over to you, Margaret. Well, Mia, while you were talking, one thing that I did because uh, I'm actually going to plant this back into mm -hmm. the pot. So what okay. I did was, since we don't need a lot, I just mm -hmm. cut one, um, I guess one of the little aloe vera stems off, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. use it um, to plant my oranges. Okay, all right. So, so the first thing you want to do is with your orange, where it was attached to the tree, you want to cut that part out. And I'm going to angle my camera down so okay. that uh, you can see it better. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to cut that part out. Okay. And also, you need to make sure you take the sticker off. I just took the sticker off my orange. Not that it matters, but just for visual purposes, aesthetic purposes, you might want to take the tag off. <laughs> that would be good. Well, you know, <laughs> the tag on there would help you remember what type of orange you have. Also. Well, let me see. I don't know if my tag even tells me what kind of orange, but you can maybe create another tag that will tell you, I guess it does, it says navel. So my tag tells me that this is a navel orange. Well, Mia, I forgot to tell you, I did this a couple of days ago when uh -huh. uh, we were planning this project. Uh -huh. I'm gonna do it later because I know me and I will forget the date that we actually planted it. So I took some um, masking tape and okay. I did navel orange and earlier today i put the today's date which is um the 31st of march okay i put the heirloom and so i'm going to um put this actually on my container oh so can, great you know, idea yeah so i can remember the date that i planted it uh -huh. so i will say oh my goodness it's not growing fast enough so i'll mm -hmm. remember the exact that I planted. So I'm going to do this afterwards. And I forgot to okay. tell you that I yeah, was... you forgot to tell me that. I will be right back. Let me see if I can find some tape real quick. Okay, so um, I've already cut. And me, I just used a Sharpie to put it on there. Um, anyway, so cut out the, the end that was attached to the tree or the branch was. And then all you have to do is um, get your aloe vera. And again, while Mia was talking, I just took the piece that I cut off and I cut down the sides so I would have enough. And all you're gonna do is spread it on there. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't take a lot. Okay. Um, and you sent me some information about some of the properties of aloe vera. Um, and it says that it helps cut down on um, germs and ward off any possible infection. So that also aids in the growth of anything that you plant using this method. Okay, that's one heirloom. Trying to get a good amount on there. Okay. I'm just going to stick it in my dirt. And then this one, which one are you doing now, Mia? I'm doing the orange now. And so this is a, actually a very good stem from the aloe vera plant. It has a lot of gel in it. So I'm rubbing the gel on to the orange right now, like the, the part that I, I cut out the stem, where the stem, at the orange attaches to the uh, stem of the plant. Mm 
Okay. So that one is the orange is ready. I've already put it on top of the soil. And are, are you doing uh, one of each or two of each? I'm just doing one orange and I think I'm gonna go ahead and do two lemons. Just to see, just in case one grows faster than the other. And I think this time I might, I noticed that in some of the videos um, that they have on YouTube, that some of the one that you shared, they actually keep the plant miniature. I think they just cut it back year after year after year. Um, mm -hmm. And then when the lemons start growing, it's actually a miniature lemon plant uh, because we've had a couple of lemon trees uh, that ended up growing so tall, we can no longer keep them inside our house and we had to plant them in the yard. Um, and this year they didn't make it. So I think I'm going to try that method, just keeping it a miniature lemon tree. Okay, I put the aloe vera under on, um, I've rubbed the aloe vera on both lemon and I'm going to put them both in the soil. Well, I just put mine in the soil and now I need to water it in. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. Okay. Well, we're going to water it liberally since we just put it in the soil. And of course the water uh, will help it grow, especially once we cover it with plastic. I forgot to... Yeah. And I'm just going to use a piece of paper and I have my Sharpie to uh, label it, label it with the date that we planted them. March 31st, 2003. Mia, do you know where you're going to put your jet? 2023. Um, well, I noticed that many of, most of the videos said they need to be in a warm spot. Um, the, the warmness will help the seeds inside the orange and lemon germinate. So I'll have to find a warm spot. I do want to keep them indoors because we do have a lot of animals uh, who love to come onto the porch and, and eat whatever we have. If we have edible plants, uh, they will definitely eat them. So I will have to maybe find a windowsill somewhere in the house to place them. Do you know where you're going to place yours? I am. Well, Mia, if you have it covered, then um, they won't be able to get to them, right? Mm, I'm not so sure. We have some pretty determined animals. <laughs> <laughs> they might pull it down. It might tumble. I don't know. I think I'm going to just put mine in the windowsill for now. Are, gonna, are you going to put yours on your veranda? You're, you're probably okay because you have a veranda. I don't know. I <laughs> I am getting so many plants. Uh -huh. that, like, <laughs> I have too many plants. Mm -hmm. it, it won't get enough sun because it's covered. Yeah. So I put it there. I think I'm going to put it way in the back of our okay. yard. Somewhere where, where the animals can't get to it. Maybe so, I'll do that. For sun because in my little garden area, like the back back of our yard, um, uh -huh. our colors are already digging up the ground. I was like, oh my goodness, already. Every year I find yeah. it from digging Every up. Every year. <laughs> Especially anything that's new. So what I might do, I can put them on my front porch. We tend to have better luck there. So we have a couple of um table like a small table on the front porch maybe I can put them on that and then put some other plants around them so that they don't notice them as much that's maybe what I'll do that since it needs a lot of sun I definitely yeah, need a lot of sun I think uh, yeah I think you need to put it outside so that it'll grow faster yes maybe one day we'll have a greenhouse so that we can uh, work on our projects and then place them in the greenhouse. 
Wouldn't that be nice? Maybe that, that could be our next that, project is to build a greenhouse. <laughs> look, look, you're look, you're all finished, and I'm still going. No, I I just I just put the plastic on top. I water, and that's it. Just one step ahead of you. That's it. Now you're done. Now I'm done. So I'll take a picture of where I put them. Um, okay. I'm gonna put them inside of another planter. Okay. So, um, you know, so the wind doesn't blow them down because I'm gonna put it way back, like out of okay. not fine, but I'm not gonna put them on the veranda. I think they need a lot of sun, so I'm okay. gonna put them in an area that's not covered. Okay. I, I will look in the backyard and see if I can find a safe spot or front yard. Um, and I'll, I will take a picture as well. Okay, well, we're done with our project for today. Done. Very excited. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us for Cooking and Crafting with Margaret and Mia. Uh, we hope to bring you all some more projects in the upcoming weeks. Uh, we're working on some special beverages uh, mm -hmm. that will have some healthy benefits. Uh, nope. We're also working on a wreath design um, that we think you all will love. So those are some projects that are on the horizon. Thank you. And see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay. Let me end it and see if I can make sure that it the recording that we save it. I know. I don't know what happened to mine. See, Mia, I um, I cut it back.